during one hour see the science behind cell boosters and especially with a special focus on the shack technology where you will see that it's a tremendous technology uh, to stabilize high molecular weight HA together with amino acids, vitamin and other micronutrients. So together the title of our talk is from molecular to cellular perspective to injection technique and sharing experience both with Gabriel and Natalia, Dr. Siki and Dr. Mikhailov. So I'm going to start to explain the Shack technology in depth and also the benefits of our product. Then Dr. Mikhailova will, uh, I will explain, sorry, the, the, the work of Dr. Mikhailova with the benefits of using the Shack technology and a stabilized high molecular weight HA together with micronutrients. And we'll see that with histological proof and clinical benefits. And then Gabriel will talk, will talk about the preliminary result of the clinical trial on MC subject about the cell booster lift. So, let's start about the Shack technology. The Shack technology, in a few words actually, it's a mechanically change of the HA. We will stabilize the HA by a mechanical action. Without here, I put without the need and the use of any binding reagents like BDDE, PEG, or whatsoever. This technology will be very useful to add to this high molecular weight HA, vitamins, amino acids, oligo elements into supramolecular and stabilized complexes that will render actually DHA an optimal vehicle for transporting these essential nutrients to the skin and to answer the needs of the skin depending on the situation. To go further into the details of this technology, so we buy high molecular weight HA and we'll see together uh, later on that there's a lot of benefits of using this kind of high molecular weight HA, so over 3 million Dalton. We mix that together with vitamins, both hydrophilic and hydrophobic, amino acids or peptides, and micronutrients. Then, in the first step here, and that's very important that you understand that, we work in a solid phase, so we are not adding any water or buffer to the solution. We will apply that a shear deformation under a certain pressure, temperature, and resting time, so we are able to elongate the chain of HA, then the micronutrients, so the micronutrients will go closer to the chain of HA here, and this will lead to the formation of weak interaction. There are two interactions which are formed. Hydrogen binding between the amino acids and the HA and von der Waals interaction between the vitamins or other micronutrients and the HHA. And this will create a stabilization of the network. And when we relax everything, we reform the HA, but we catch, we trap, we integrate within this network this micronutrient. So we add buffer and some molecule of water within the supramolecular complexes. And then we stabilize even more these complexes which are formed in the final formula of our product. If we look right now at the benefits, at the secondary and the primary structure of the, uh, the Shack technology, so I told you that the first benefit <coughs> is related to this high molecular weight HA superior to 3 million Dalton. We'll see together later on that this HA, high molecular weight, has intrinsic structural and benef biological benefits. The second one is, as I described before, you work in a solid phase. So actually, working in a solid phase will lead to, first of all, a uniform distribution of all the micronutrients within this complex. The second benefit is that you can have an integration of both hydrophilic and hydrophobic molecule within this network. If you would have worked in a liquid phase, that would have been impossible, especially for several vitamins, like the tocopherol. And the third benefit is that there's no excess of added ingredients. 
so that you respond and answer very well with the right concentration for the physiological needs of the skin depending on the problem. Once you go to the liquid phase, we stabilize even more the complex so that when you inject this formula into the skin of your patient, you will have a slow, gradual, optimal release of all these micronutrients within the skin of your patient. Now about the benefits of the shack. You know very well in this room the, 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 the high molecular weight HA, but you may not know all the benefits it has. Actually, if you look at the high molecular weight HA, it has structural benefits and biological benefits. And you have to know that low molecular weight HA is perceived as a dangerous signal for the body. It can create cancer, inflammatory response, and so on. Using high molecular weight HA will lead to a viscoelastic properties, so a shock absorber. It's also part of the extracellular space expansion in the extracellular matrix together with the collagen, the elastin, and so on. It will also lead to an hydration of the tissue, will lead to a buffering of the transfer of micronutrients to the cell, so it will lead to some steric interaction, and it has an access to the lymphatic system, so it will reduce uh, in a normal manner, I would say, the, uh, the water retention within the tissue. About its biological effect, we have a non-inflammatory uh, benefits of this high molecular weight HA together with a non-antioxidant. The, the, the HA is actually a Ross scavenger. It will be also anti-angiogenic, immunosuppressive, and one of the most remarkable uh, benefits of this high molecular weight HA is, is that it will lead to a differentiation of the fibroblast. And the fibroblasts which are not dividing are synthesizing collagen, AHA, and so on, fibrillin, and elastin. This will lead to four fundamental uh, benefits. The protection of the epithelial layer, the wound repair and healing, the tissue regeneration, integrity, and quiescence, and the new synthesis of AHA and collagen. If we look now at the transition between the liquid and the solid phase, I mean the solid phase and the liquid phase, I told you that we stabilized during the liquid phase. Here I did represent some molecules of water uh, cl very close to the chain of this HA. Here you have the vitamins or the amino acids and the reverse is true. <laughs> so we have during the solid phase a unique stabilization of the high molecular weight HA and an optimal distribution of these active ingredients, but not only. If you look here, this HA which is stabilized will generate some sites which will be blocked by the nutrients. We call that in English sterically inherent site. So they will protect the HA against its degradation by the reactive oxygen species or the urinidase. Therefore, it's more stable and therefore you will get an improvement of the bioavailability of these micronutrients. You will have a reduction of the HA degradation and longer lasting results. So basically the cell booster complexes have the unique benefits of an optimal skin transportal vehicle with essential nutrients with an effective and very effective, I would say, delivery for noticeable and longer lasting results. So let's see right now after the shack technology, the advantage and the benefits for your patient. So the, the cell booster are of course medical device, device class three, they are C mark. We have already a lot of questions about this at uh, our know, booth. They are coming from a stabilization of micronutrients together with high molecular weight HA and they are coming from the shack technology. Now I'm going to describe very briefly all the benefits of our product. The first one is the shape. The shape actually is indicated for local fat and double chin treatment. It will reduce the lipid deposition in area where the lipids are accumulating during aging. It will also decrease the liquid retention because it will improve the lymphatic drainage. And this is because of two molecules within this complex, the vitamin C and the l carnitine I'm going to take one example about the lipid deposition. So here I just represented an adipocyte. And as you all know, when we are aging, 
there's a lot of lipids here in our face on the nasolabial fold, the malar area, but also <laughs> for women here, unfortunately, for men here, and also on different parts of the face, like the neck and the décolleté, right? Because this adipocyte accumulates fat deposits, and we can't get rid of, there's some method to get rid of that, but they are all killing the cells, which is not good, good in a physiologic manner. Our product is completely different. By combining the L-carnitine together with the vitamin C, which is the cofactor of the carnitine, it will help to transport this fat deposit from the cytoplasm to the mitochondria. And then you will have a bonus. This will lead to a breakdown of these lipids from the Krebs cycle, lead to an increase of the available energy here, ATP, to the cell, but also it will reduce the oxidation of the adipocytes. And so you will have more survival of the cells, but with a normalized cells, so you will get rid of the fat deposits. So basically you can treat the face, the neck, the back of the hands, the internal face of the arm and the body, and here with this product, you are able to transform fat into energy. All this product, high molecular weight, carnitine together with vitamin C, will have some synergistic effect. They will work on their own by increasing the cell metabolism and so on, but they are also working with complementary action in reduction of the oxidation, the inflammation, increasing the energy to the cell. And so if you look at the, the example that we have here, for example, with Dr. Cherano with this double chin, you can see that the fat deposit is not there, the double chin completely disappeared. The same for the lymphatic drainage. I didn't talk and I won't talk here about the lymphatic drainage, but you have to know that all three molecules will increase the lymphatic drainage <coughs> because they will work on the water retention, targeting this water from the tissue to the lymphatic system. The lift. The lift is actually a product which is uh, very efficient in terms of lifting, smoothing wrinkles to do some skin redensification, work a bit about the skin tone, but we also have the, skin, the, the glow, and to improve the microcirculation as well of the skin. This is because when you look at the formula here, we have a lot of amino acids, we have a lot of vitamins together with the stabilized hyaluronic acid. If we look here, what's going on with this formula, we have the high molecular weight HA, which is essential for the extracellular matrix. We have the vitamins, which are essential for the cellular metabolism. And we have amino acids. And if you look at the detail here, you have some essential amino acids that are not provided by the body, but only by food, and we eat less meat when we are aging, right? Uh, the glycine and the proline are very important for the collagen. One third of the structure of the collagen is made of these two amino acids, and the arginine has also an antioxidant and an hydrative power. If we inject into the dermis this product, we will have an immediate skin effect with an hydration, a work about the matrix structure, an integrity and health, but not only. So they will work on the, the activity of the cells, and the cells will be able to regenerate the skin by the inside, because they will uh, neosynthetize new HA and also other proteins like collagen, fibrinin, and elastin. The vitamin will potentialize this effect of the high molecular weight HA because they will work on the cellular metabolism. And the amino acids, of course, will be part of the collagen and the activity, the, the global activity of these cells, together with an antioxidant and an anti-inflammatory uh, reaction. So here, if we look at the idea, again, I won't enter into the detail. You are free to come to the booth uh, during the simple, I mean, during the Congress. We will describe to you all the properties of all these ingredients. But you have to know that, for instance, with this example from Natalia Mikhailova, we can get rid of fine lines, for instance, here on the front head, which is quite difficult to get, and also improve the tone of this patient after four procedures. With this, the acne scars, which is also quite a 
huge problem for several, let's say, past teenager patients, you will also improve the skin state. What about the glow? The glow actually is a product which improves the skin tone, reduces hyperpigmentation, hydrates the skin, because it contains lots of amino acids plus the glutathione and some vitamins. If we look at the mechanism of action, again we will work the extracellular matrix, but the thing which is interesting with this product is that it contains glutathione plus cysteine and vitamin C that will work together on the pathway that will produce the melanin. So they will inhibit this pathway and they will remove as well, they will announce the removal of the melanin. So you will improve the skin tone. <coughs> Together with an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory process, you will have a rework of the extracellular matrix and a work on the fibroblast and the keratinocyte. The ID card, again, synergistic action of all these ingredients. Here, a picture before and after from Dr. Sikie Gabriel. A very nice improvement of the skin tone. Here, again, the same, this woman, very, very young, about 35 years old, but Mediterranean, presumably Spanish or whatsoever. And Dr. Felipe in Spain and also in England uh, injected the glow, and you can see that the spot completely disappeared. So it really works, actually. Uh, the air, the air as the name is giving you an information is for the scalp and the air follicle. It accelerates air growth, prevents the air loss because it has many amino acids, a lot of vitamins, but also zinc and copper. Very briefly, all these vitamins will work on the air growth improvement and will prevent the air loss and grain. They will also uh, reinforce the air follicle and the, the air vitality and work, of course, on the uh, extracellular matrix and with an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory process. If you look at the result, look, you look, you sh the, the color is much improved. The, the air loss is prevented. The air growth is improved as well. Gabriel also use it not only for air loss, but also to treat dermatitis because you work also on the scalp. So that's very, very, very efficient. So now that we saw together the benefits of each product, let's see how you can get the best of this product for the best of your patient. So you have four products, and basically on this slide is just to show you that a protocol of three injections in the acute phase is necessary because you will, uh, you will have some additional and complementary action of this product, you have to go from the red zone to the green zone. And then you will have a maintenance treatment uh, to maintain the treatment. So you have an acute every two to three weeks with three injection and then a maintenance treatment one or twice, I mean, one every two months or one every uh, two months. You can also combine this product together or with other feeders and also with the toxin and there's no problem because it's not changed, it's not cross-linked. You won't have any vascular problem or adverse event. So now let's see together uh, the work that was done by Natalia Mikhailova. So again, we will see the benefits of using <coughs> this stabilized HA versus native HA, and this will be a short description from histological proof to clinical benefits. So the original idea, very, very briefly, because we already <laughs> saw that in the previous slide, is just to tell you that when you're aging, the extracellular matrix just is less efficient, less fibroblast, and there's, there's a lot of strategies to increase and improve uh, this uh, problem. You can get rid of the wrinkles with the HA feeder, which are cross-linked, or the toxin <coughs> to release the muscular activity but none of them will be able to work on the cellular metabolism of the skin and improve the health of the skin. A lot of strategies, methotherapy with a lot of cocktails also on the market, but I would say that this is, these results are really sparse and they are not very efficient on the long run. So using the original idea is to stabilize the HA high molecular weight with this micronutrient to get longer lasting results. The experiments to prove that, just to show you on 10 seconds this, uh, this slide, 
that I would say that this characterization about the, the clinical benefits uh, of the our of our technology, sorry, uh, was well done with Natalia. There's two animals models with histological um, proof. The durability of the gel at the cellular and tissular level and also the cellular and tissular effect. Uh, we did as well a clinical report with different kind of experiments that I will detail later on to see the efficacy on skin state and improvement. So the first part was the animal model. So there were two animal models, the rats and the mini pigs that were able to compare native HA to different formulas at the beginning, here with a subcutaneous injection, and we did an histological examination on day 1, 3, 7, and 14, and we have an intradermal injection in mini pig with an histological examination on day 1, 3, and 5. The first experiments tells you that native HA here is completely unstable, we, you can observe it at day one, day three, but disappear later on. And the second thing which is noticeable here is that you don't have a lot of cellular reactivation. You don't see a lot of fibroblasts, which is kind of normal in the hypodermis, but we'll see that in the, in the dermis as well. About the gel which are stabilized, they are much more stable on the long run. We can observe them up to 14 days, so two weeks, and then you have much more activation of the fibroblast. In the dermis, when we inject it into the dermis of the mini pig, you can see the same with the intact pink and the, the, uh, if we inject the native HA, there's not a lot of differences between, between both because the HA is able to hydrate, but it's not really able to activate the fibroblast. When we compare that with the gel which is stabilized, you can see with the arrow here that there's a lot of fibroblast activation first, you will have more microvessels as well, so you will have better oxidation of your tissue, and the gel lasts much longer as compared to native HA. When we compare both gels here, the same were uh, found uh, when we use different kind of formula. So the, gel, the gels are more stable when we use them in two animal models. Now let's see the clinical benefits of this high molecular weight chain uh, stabilized. This was done in 90 major patients in three groups of treatment with 30 patients in each group of treatment. They were included and there, there were three injections in all these patients done two weeks apart with uh, normal procedure application that I showed here. We had a subjective assessment first with patient questionnaire then we did assess all the parameters of the skin, the pH, the moisture, the sebum, the elasticity, the skin microtopography, and the micro, um, the morphology and the relief. And then, of course, we did a statistical analysis. About the satisfaction of the patient, you can see that in all three groups, the patients were really satisfied in terms of elasticity, compression, wrinkles, and moisturizing effects. We also notice when we did assess by non-invasive method, by elastometry, that we have an improvement in the elasticity of the skin in all three groups. And you can notice that in three, group two and group three, the improvement was even a bit bigger. About the sebum, the sebumetry and uh, the hydration result, you can see that the pH, for instance, is more acidic, which is normalized actually, which is very, very good, because the skin has to be just lower sebum, okay? The sebum, we increase the sebum, and that's better, because if your skin is more oily, you have less squalling, less dehydration of your skin, right? Dehydration, just the same as the sebum. Now, the density by the ultrasound scanning, you can see if you compare in group one, group two, and group three, that the density in the uh, dermis is much higher here after the treatment than here. The same is there in the second group and the same is here in the third group. So when we did quantify the density of the dermis and the thickness of the dermoepidermal dermo junction, we can see that we have in all three groups a very good improvement. The same in terms of density of the dermis. So as I showed you before, we have more fibroblasts. 
they are working better. And so your skin is healthier and more with more vitality. About the micro relief, we can see that the squatiness was reduced and even more in group 3 and 2 as compared to the group 1. The difference is bigger, but the best result obtained, of course, in younger patients. The, the same is true for the roughness. The smoothing effect, much better <coughs> after the treatment and the reduction of the wrinkles, which is much reduced as well. And Natalia did even some electron microscopy experiments with a specific technique, analyzing different layers. And you can see that after the treatment, everything was improved. We improved the epidermis, the dermis, the dermal epidermal junction in terms of density, in, in terms of smoothness of the skin. So just to conclude, and I'm sorry, there, there were a lot of data to explain to you that was very fast and very quick, but I would say that this experiment in characterization was very, very strong. First of all, two animal models compared the durability, we are more durable and we induce more uh, fibroblast activation. We have a clinical part with a better satisfaction after the injection than before. And we did assess all these parameters telling you that our product is very, very, very efficient. So the stabilizer with amino acids, vitamin appear to be a real asset in your toolbox, I would say. And for the best of your patient, come to our booth and talk to our team and we will see together how we can respond to your need and the need of your patient. So thank you very much for your attention. Let's give the word now to Gabrielle, who will explain to us the clinical evidence of the uh, clinical trial about the cell booster lift. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm, I'm Dr. Alaski. I'm going to explain you pre preliminary results uh, of a clinical trial that we, uh, we did uh, on healthy subjects in uh, in uh, Lyon and uh, the rationale of the clinical trial is to improve the cell uh, metabolism and also to improve uh, the skin health and uh, the quality of the skin. When we are talking about beautification, when we are talking about anti-aging, uh, in the past uh, we see that beauty is related. So we see that it's, it's very important the proportions that what we normally do uh, with fillers, but also skin quality became more and more important because if we change the proportions but the quality of the skin is not good, we are not going to uh, obtain a successful rejuvenation. So that's what I was telling you about uh, the proportions. And we make a change from uh, younger skin uh, to uh, older skin, we can see that high molecular weight uh, hyaluronic acid antioxidants vitamins uh, they are decreasing so we uh, did cell booster lift with the clinical trial methodology uh, we selected the subjects and we did the treatment uh, on the face intradermal injection with three sessions and the assessment the endpoints what was important for us was hydration, moisturize, because with the hyaluronic acid we want to uh, do re uh, restructuration. Um, we did functional measures, uh, we, we checked skin microcirculation, we checked pigmentation of the skin, the density, uh, the wrinkles parameters, and then we make a subjective uh, uh, measurements. We, we asked uh, the practitioner and the patients for the aesthetic effect, we also the degree of uh, satisfaction, and then we included uh, gaze score, and safety assessment was also done in our patients. So the results uh, that we we saw, we checked the moisture change with the corneometer, and we saw the changes in hydration. They were validated before treatment, and at day uh, 42, we saw an increase of around 30%. Uh, more hydration. We also um, check uh, the viscoelasticity <coughs> with a photometer. We got an increase uh, of 12,5%. Uh, also, the measurement was done before treatment and uh, day uh, 42 from baseline. So, we did three treatments with two weeks in between. Mm -hmm. 
and we check uh, the change in skin density with thermoscan, so uh, with um, echography. So we saw an improve uh, on skin density more than uh, more than 20 percent, 29.2 percent. So we have a better density, a redensification of uh, of, the, of the skin of the matrix of the skin thanks to uh, the, the improvement of hyaluronic acid collagen and uh, elastin into the extracellular matrix we also saw a significant <coughs> improvement in the screen microcirculation that uh, is very important because we are going to have a better blood flow so we are going to have more oxygen to the cells, so we're going to be able to give more energy to the tissue. The difference between the baseline and the day 42 was 37.6%. All of that uh, was made uh, measurement with uh, a laser Doppler. And then uh, the aesthetic uh, changes. We measured with the guys a scale, and we got a response uh, from the practitioners as from the patients with uh, an more than 80% of high uh, or very high satisfaction uh, after completing the questionnaire. So let's go and see uh, the results again. So the changes in, in hydration was 12.4%. Uh, uh, the viscoelasticity <coughs> also measured, measured with cutometer was 12.5% uh, and the changes on skin density was 29.2%. Uh, uh, we are going to finish the clinical trial uh, at day uh, 82, so we are, we are waiting for the final results, but we can conclude that it's very effective and we have the activity. Here we can see uh, the increase of uh, micro, microcirculation, that's also very important, and also a capillary flux. The results on the uh, guy scale, the, that is checking the aesthetic improvement, was more than 80%, so we have high and very high level of satisfaction, and then we made a subjective uh, analysis that we have more than 90% on patient satisfaction and also on uh, patient satisfaction parameters. So we asked them how if they feel themselves the skin more hydrated, if they feel more luminosity, so all the things that we measured objectively were, were also measured subjectively. I want to show you some uh, images uh, before and after. Okay. So here we can see uh, better turgor, more hydrated and glowing skin, and we have uh, diminished hyperpigmentation. We can see also that the light is reflecting <coughs> on a different way, so we have a better skin structure. Here we have also an improvement <coughs> in pigmentation, redness structure and glow of the skin. All these pictures, they are before treatment and two weeks after the last treatment. And also in male, we see a reduction uh, on redness and pigmentation with an improvement on a structure and glow. So we can see that the beneficial impact uh, of this treatment. Better tone unification, improvement in redness, a structure and glow. And so, regarding the device that uh, Cell Booster Lift, we found it very easy to inject. We, uh, we can place it perfectly on the correct layer. And it's also important, uh, remember when we are using uh, products that they are cocktail smiths, the turbidity indicates that uh, the product has been uh, corrupted, so we cannot use it. So to um, detect turbidity was also uh, very easy uh, with this file. Regarding side effects uh, we are, or adverse events, uh, we can see that also we got a very little uh, side effects. It can be like a little bruises or uh, a little bit of inflammation from the trauma of the needle uh, that disappeared uh, in one or, or two days after the treatment. So we can uh, conclude that this uh, procedure is uh, safe. So. Summarizing cell booster lift, we have better viscoelasticity, better hydration, better microcirculation, and uh, a very good improvement on skin density with 
uh, high compliance for the patients and high satisfaction also mm -hmm. for the practitioner. And now it's turn of the friend, uh, Natalia Mikhailova. We told you about unique technology of manufacturing cell booster and its benefits. In our practice, in result depends not only by product and about our technique. And we decided to speak with you a little bit about technique when we use cell booster. And uh, if we used some cell booster and we work with wrinkles, tightening skin or rejuvenation with cell booster glow or cell booster lift, we used dermal cell booster technique. It's like this, like dermal technique. Uh, you put some product inside the dermis and uh, interval between injections one centimeter. We uh, can do some more superficial dermal technique and more deeper dermal technique. And if we want to more tightening or tonal skin, we use more dermal. It's, for example, dermal cell booster technique around the eyes. We used very small needle. It's needles uh, 30 to uh, 34 uh, G. And we do some small bubbles in this area. It's very important if we use uh, some bubbles around the eyes, we need to leave small amount of product because in this area very sensitive and we need leave very small purple is in diameter not more than one millimeter and uh, now you can see deep dermal cell booster technique it's intradermal technique too but it's more deeper technique and we change our cut off needle and put some product for the pore product a little bit deeper. This liner dermal cell booster technique, we use this technique with zone with ptosis and we use different uh, line uh, for a ptosis zone. It's uh, linear and uh, leaf uh, product when we do it and uh, interval between these injections one centimeter. Epidermal cell booster technique is technique for lightening and work with hyperpigmentation. And this very superficial technique, it's more uh, less uh, painful and uh, we work with uh, some uh, skin need some tonus or some lightening. Neck technique we use dermal cell booster technique. It's like purple <coughs> technique. We leave a small amount of product. We used a needle 30-32G and do some specific technique, subdermal cell booster technique. When we use a cell booster shape, it's for fatting skin and we used some product maybe 0 0.1 milliliter in every, in every point between injections one centimeter. And Dr. Sikier shows some treatment with cell booster shape. Thank you very much. So uh, let's see if I'm lucky this time. So we uh, just to remember that we have uh, protocols of uh, cell booster shape for different areas, we can we can do also face, the neck, but also uh, the body. And when we are talking about periocular treatment, generally we can have um, a deposit, uh, a leak of fat deposit, and also lymph lymphatic uh, deposit on the malar fat part. So generally, what I do is to pinch the skin. I need to have around one centimeter of tissue and then I inject 0 0,1 or 0 0,2 per point. The distance between the point more or less one, one and a half uh, centimeters. So we, we are talking about 0 0,6 uh, uh, mil, uh, milliliter 
for that area. Of course, you have more in the in the vial, mm -hmm. so I generally I try to to treat uh, the lower <coughs> tip to give uh, to give also um, a better appearance on the oval of the face. Sometimes the edema we are going to find it on the lower eyelid, and this is very delicate, and we need to understand the positioning of the product. So we are going to work subdermally and we're going to inject 0 0,05 milliliter per point. <coughs> you can do uh, four or five points, depending on the area, but it's important to not put too many quantity of product in this area, because remember, we have hyaluronic acid, so we can lead to an edema posteriorly. Remember that the lymphatic drain is going up here, so I can also complement a little bit on the growth area with uh, little uh, papulas uh, of product. Mm? In the body area, you can also use uh, the cannula or you can use uh, the needle. I, I like to combine them both, but sometimes you can have patients, for example, that they are with anti aerogans or anticoagulants. They have more risk of bleeding in that cases because the placement of the product is subcutaneous, you can uh, do it with a cannula without any problem. Generally, I will use a vial on the body uh, on the size of uh, one uh, close hand. That will be the measurement tool. So I will put maximum three milliliters on this area and maximum 30 milliliters per session. Because when you go to body, remember that uh, we can have uh, a, a sort of complication or of infection, so this will be the maximum to 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 prevent uh, side effects. And now I'm going to give again the word to Dr. Mikhailova to continue with scalp treatment with her. We let's start a video about her loss injection, and you can see some short video about work with zone. We use cell booster here for hair loss, hair um, uh, quality, and we used for whole zone. Sometimes some doctors work only with area when lost hair. But if we, ha if we need more result, we need work with whole zone. And we do basic technique. Its technique is two millimeter, 90 degrees angle into the skin. And line by line, we work with whole area and use a lot of benefit of this technique because this technique not only for leave product in the skin, this technique good for stimulate micro, micro circulation in this area and it's very good for uh, this problem with uh, hair loss or something problem with hair. We use uh, some needle, needle 3032G and um, we uh, used a small needle. It's needle 4 millimeter or screw needle when we can change some uh, depth. We can use a mass injector. If you use mass injector, it's a painful less. It's a here, it's here line. You uh, do some the same technique. It's base technique, two millimeter, and we work in some problem area. Additional, we can use dermal technique like papules, but uh, please. Pay attention about big papules because in this area, impossible use big papules. It's papules not more than one millimeter in this area. Cell Booster Glow, it's a best injection solution for skin rejuvenation, photo aging, and uh, hypopigmentation. We use dermal cell booster dermal cell booster technique and we do this whole area, not only problem area. We use different type of needle. It was, it will be a 30, 32 degree and 
we uh, work this whole area and leave small amount of product. Of course, we work the same, uh, the same technique around the eyes, with smaller purple, and dermal cerebral technique we used in problem area. For example, hyperpigmentation, and we leave some more deeper technique and leave small amount of product intradermal. Around the eyes, we use dermal cell booster technique. In glow cell booster, we work with this area not only for wrinkles, it works with dark cycles around the eyes. And we do some small purple technique. It's uh, diameter not more than one millimeter. It's better more purples, but not bigger purples. And deep dermal technique, if we want to tone of skin and use a glow, not only for hyperpigmentation uh, and for more rejuvenating skin. Epidermal cell booster technique for glow is a very good technique because its technique not so painful. And in the end of procedure, we uh, do this technique. And uh, this technique is uh, very easy and superficial, but it's very good work with, with hyperpigmentation, lightening skin, and tightening skin. Mm -hmm. And a uh, very important thing when we use with some cell booster or any method therapy product, it's very important work with full zone. Not only problematic area, it's work with yeah. full face, neck, decollete, and all full uh, higher lost area. Sometimes uh, we see that we have different indications. So as Dr. Mikhailov explained, we could treat uh, hyperpigmentation with cell booster glow. But uh, can we combine it with leaf? How we can combine it with leaf? So what, what my formulation is to combine it with a cannula technique. So we are going to do glow uh, intradermal with a uh, needle and leaf uh, in, on the hypodermis or subcutaneous superficial <coughs> with cannula. I generally use a 25G uh, cannula. I do an entry hole with a 23G. And uh, I don't use more than 3 milliliters for the full face. It's important when we are working superficial to do a little bit of drilling that you see uh, to advance and we place the product superficially. You can combine on the same session, on the same session these two products, but you can also combine it with shape for the botchin, for example. So it's very versatile and we can treat different indications with the same product. Here you can see generally I use one and a half milliliter per ME phase. So one vial is sufficient for to treat the whole area. Thank you. you can see the fanning technique and you see that the placement of the cannula is pretty superficial and that's important. Remember that this product is not like a classical mesotherapy. This product is a stabilized thanks to the Czech technology and that allows us to put it a little bit deeper and still have the activity. This is one of the uniqueness of Cell Booster. So we saw uh, a little bit shared experience uh, of lift, glow, hair, and shape, and I don't know if we have a little bit time for questions, but otherwise you can visit us on the booth uh, F21, and we will be happy to, to answer all, all your doubts or questions you're going to have. Thank you very much. Thank you for your